it's another day and now it's windy. But it's warm enough so the car should be happy. Going into Kingston. It's the first plan, I would say, of the morning, but it's it's not the morning, is it? Oh, it's exactly midday. <laughs> Amazing, it was nearly morning. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. It's the old Kingston Market on a rainy Saturday. Get some bread to feed the ducks. <laughs> What's this problem? He's got the food. <laughs> yeah. I get to watch pizza chefs practicing. Yes. Sprinkling. Remember what I said, not too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just said not too much. Not too much. Not that much. Yeah. But you can put it all around the pizza. So as much as you've done that, but let's put more in there. I'm doing it because Tony's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what, being slow? Um, Take a picture, Oh yeah, I look good. Good work, pizza chefs. Found a duck. It's gonna be the most well fed duck. I always seem to be doing this on like a Monday or Tuesday evening. I'm going shopping again, I'm missing more stuff. M&S. Other shops are available. So it's Shrove Tuesday tomorrow so I need pancake mix and lemons and sugar and stuff like that. Yes I'm going to buy pancake mix because I can't be bothered. And then this weekend we're going up to York for um, uh, Nick and Henry's uh, wedding vows. I've got to film that but I've slightly broke my camera as I'll show you in a moment. Excellent. Lemons and refined sugar. Yes, it's pancake day and chaos has ensued. Lemons have been slaughtered and cheese and lots of batter. I'm now going to attempt to flip a pancake whilst holding the phone with the other hand. This could be an interesting trick is don't watch the phone, watch the pancake. There we go. Not the most elegant, but it did work. <laughs> Seamless.
I'd put it back. Another sunny day on the roof. I say another, it's the first one this year. Check it out. It's how London should look. It's a wonderful roof. Top down, it's a convertible roof. I'm just taking a break from who's on heart because it's, you know, relentless. Enjoying the sunshine, it's really warm. Good evening, it's a very, very mild evening indeed after such a beautiful day. I can see the stars, but you won't be able to because you're in darkness. Um, it's lovely, so I'm going into queue. I'm uh, going to have uh, dinner with Crystal at Very Rock and Roll Pizza Express. Massive pizza craving has to be quashed. So, would you? Good morning. It's my first walk in of the year, first one in almost three months. And it's very pleasant, although I look totally asleep. And I cut myself on a vitamin C tablet because I'm very delicate. But here we go. This should be fun, this should wake me up. Be raring to go. <laughs> no, I don't believe it either. So time for a few updatey things. Uh, first of all, um, myself and Crystal are off up to York uh, this weekend, obviously, which will be the next vlog. Uh, we're going up to see uh, Nick and Henry's uh, wedding vows, uh, which will be very nice. So lots of uh, photographizing will occur there. Um, then in a couple of weeks, we're off to Venice. I cannot wait um, for a little four day break. Um, that should be well. That should be super awesome. I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, so I'm really into Venice. And um, what else? Oh, yesterday I bumped into Ant. Now Ant, um, I know from university. He used to edit the Epigram, which was our student newspaper when I was running, and I use the term loosely, our student radio station. So uh, student media types. But uh, Ant lives at number three, <laughs> so <laughs> literally nearly opposite me. So there we go. And that's how the world works sometimes. So, um, yeah, so all in all, uh, that is kind of, that's caught you up roughly to where I am. Um, I'm, this walk is amazing. Hang on, cyclist. There you go. They kind of give you the strange look. I know I can't see their eyes, but it's a bit like. Anyway, um, so yeah, this walk is fantastic. I've forgotten after three months of freezingness, I've forgotten how relaxing this is. Trust me, if you can do a five mile walk in before you go to work in the morning, you'll be a different person. Um, I realise that's not always possible. There you go. Oh, this is the muddy bit just outside Barnes. It's always gets like this after a really high tide. Plus I can still smell that barley from the brewery in the air. It's really strong. If in the morning you get up and you really like the smell of bran flakes, this is the place for you. If, however, you don't, avoid at all cost. Go okay, the lovely Thames. Shut up. So then, the last thing that needs addressing is this Sunday, the Sun on Sunday launches. A publication whose launch has been imminent even two days before the closure of News of the World when they registered the domain. And this, well, I mean, what I feel about this is nothing but contempt. I mean, Murdoch shows absolutely no care for our press regulatory system. We're still in the middle of, middle of the leaves and inquiry into press standards. Um, and this is, to all intents and purposes, the news of the world with a different masthead. No remorse, just doesn't care. And I can't help but feel that hopefully this magazine, this rag, is nothing more than a byline in history. It'll be gone long, you know, by the time you see this, almost. Um, but it's just really, I don't know, pathetic. It sort of feeds on people's negativity and people's depression and then presents it as if somehow this information is useful to you, which it is not. He's not alone. I mean, plenty of the red tops, probably all of them, to be honest, are pretty horrible little leeches. And hopefully, by the time I'm a bit older, I'm watching this back, looking at my youthful face, I'm thinking, oh, newspapers. Yeah, that was a phase. Because I can't help but feel they don't really serve a purpose. Citizen journalism is much more useful. Get much broader opinions. So there we go. And despite the fact he's advertising with Global Radio a lot. Which makes me feel very uncomfortable, if I'm honest. 
No, I still don't like him and I will not mourn the day that he passes. Anyway, on a cheerier note, it's Friday and he'll be dead soon. So there we go, it's from the same people who bought the Elephant Parade. Now there's a lot of eggs around London. The question is, should I go find them? Let me know. Simon's leaving again. It's all he ever does. He's here, then he leaves, then he's here, then he leaves. It won't focus on him. Maybe he's unfocusable, maybe that's a problem. There he is. He's leaving. You can go, you can go now, Si. Bye. 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 He's not leaving, is he? he, he I, I guarantee I'll see him back here within about two weeks. It's very good. Bye, Si. Bye, Simon. Yeah. Bye, Simon. Can I ask you another question? No, just, just a curiosity on that. Uh, did they, um, the little people here? No, we like caught it in time. We caught it in time. So, anyway. Does this sound possible, especially on the other side of the note, you're going to be on your own? Record a foot link, a foot intro that goes, right now, I'm not there, we'll even share a five-track track. So, it's basically, play top and bed. Red hatch is the bed, sorry, that's not top and bed. The sun of the bed, and you're right. See, the problem is, in Liverpool, there is no Sun newspaper and there never will be because they're a bunch of low life scummers. And uh, yeah, so Liverpudlians. Not the Liverpudlians, the, the Sun, that is. Sorry, I mean our paid client, the Sun. I hold very little Yeah. Here's my new toy, which I haven't yet unboxed. I'll turn the music down. That's, that's Neil Bentley. He's, I mean, he's, I'm not his toy. No, he's not. I and can I box. can I unbox it with one hand? Yes, here we go. So it's a Sigma wide angle lens. Uh, if you don't like cameras, this is very boring. But um, it's a few hundred pounds and I got it from Hong Kong uh, because it's cheaper that way. And I can't Do get you it out. Help you out here? Yeah, go on then. I've got some travel news in a minute, but... Next. <laughs> yeah, in fact. The latest travel news next. Oh, that's a nice lens case. Yeah, isn't that lovely? That yes. is a nice lens case. Very nice. Now we just got to open I'll it. hold the bottom for you. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, man. Whoa! Yeah. Right, let's open this. This is a 550D. This is technically works 550D, but it's basically the same camera as mine, only with that button there. That is the same lens, only it has a different number on it, but it has the same glass. So um, they can try and charge you more for the same thing, but it's basically the same. There we go. Lens off. Just to let you know, we've got travel next. We've got travel news next. Yeah, and it's like in 30 seconds. So. Just got to line up the red dots. Please don't drop it. There we go. Yeah. That's a bad boy. Bad boy! Clip! Ta da! Hello, so I'm filming you on the brand new lens. As you can see, uh, there is masses of width. Stuff can be going on over here, and stuff can be going on over there, and you still get my silly face in the middle. Um, so that's fantastic, that'll be coming with me tomorrow. Um, that's pretty much the end of Friday. I'm just gonna have some dinner, and then finish the packing for tomorrow, because we need to go to York, and uh, Lens is coming with me, <laughs> and so is Crystal. So what more did you want? Um, so yes, feel free to say uh, hi in the comments and um, you will see me very shortly in a totally different city. Exciting.